We are still in search of the greatest Philly in the entire world. And today, we're going to be trying Subways. Now, I don't know if it's called a Philly or if it's called a steak and cheese. I don't know. I ain't been here in a minute. There ain't nobody here. Food must be delicious. We live. Yes, I see the timer running. That means we are live. Hey, before I get into this, Subway, over here at the Seminole location, y'all did a great job finding the employees. Actually, is it recording me? Man, let me get a little bit more airtime. There you go, turn it turn a little bit. Uh, yeah, the guy in there, super cheerful, super happy. Our, that was great, 10 out of 10 service. If I'm rating this just on the service, that guy deserves a 10. Now, I asked him, why are you so cheerful? He said, because he's going on vacation to the Bahamas. I said, man, you a lucky dude, man. You a lucky, lucky dude. Let's see what we got in the bag, man. Subway, had to do it, had to get the Philly. We are on the quest, we have to find the greatest Philly in America without actually going to Philadelphia because that would be cheating. Uh, I did get some baked Lay's, 65% less fat. I mean, that sounds good. Let's see, one serving size, 140 calories, uh, three grams of sugar, that's not bad, two grams of protein, uh, 160, yeah, you know what? Not bad, that's for later. Oh, also, cost. A Philly that was six inches, uh, the, the, the chips, and a Coke Zero was $13.39. Not a bad price. But we gotta check out the size of this thing. Now I got it pretty much, that doesn't look like no six inches. That don't look like no six inches. Hold on now, we gotta do some, we gotta do some measurements. I didn't bring a tape measure, but on the iPhone, if you type in measure, see, there we go. I got the measuring app open. Let me take this out, let me unplug this. Let me measure this out, hold on. So if I put this right, at the edge there we go why didn't it work put it there we go there we go okay so it's saying it's half an inch bro come on oh do i have to hold the button what's, what's going on here come on what if i put on a black surface hold on man i'm trying to fit it all in there no how do i reset this there you go from there bro this says it's four inches that ain't no four inches. That's a little too small to be four inches. Hold on. Bro, that might be, that, this ain't no six inches though. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it right now, this don't look like no six inches. We grade in this on the food. I gotta get into this though, man. I'm starving, it's 3.16 p.m. I've been doing orders all day. I wanted me a delicious Philly. I think, uh, yeah, so I kinda, I kinda messed up my, uh, my ratings, I thought, I, I personally thought that Charlie's was better, but according to my rating system, which is undeniably one of the greatest in the world, uh, Five Guys is actually in the lead. They got, they got an 8-2. Is this sandwich better than a Five Guys sandwich? Let's take it out, let's have a look. I got it just the way it comes. I did add a little bit of lettuce, just for some flavor. Y'all see that right there? That ain't no six inches. I've seen six inches. This is not no six inches, bro. This ain't no six inches. This this sticking out right here makes it six inches, but this ain't no six inches. I know this probably looks horrible. Hold on. What if I open up the sandwich a little bit, let y'all see inside? How does that look? Oops. How does that look, though? Look good? What if I'm all the way back here? Good? All right. Now, before I take my first bite, what was that? Before I take my first bite, we recording? We are three minutes in and I haven't taken a first bite. What the heck? Some crunchy bread. I mean, they do toast it. But I'm sure that... Do they toast it at Jersey Mike's, the bread? I don't think I've ever seen them do that. Like, they put the bread on the grill or something. So maybe that's why this has more of a crunch to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crunchy. So this guy, well, I also substituted the cheese. He's like, you want American? I was like, no. Give me pepper jack. I don't like American cheese. American cheese, some lettuce, onions, peppers, mayo. The mayo is giving it a lot of flavor. Wow. 
you guys are going to be shocked at this, but I actually really like this. This is actually really good. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. Now, I did see Subway revamped their menu. They got, like, this whole new menu. I mean, it's not new anymore. It's been out, but... They changed, like, the recipes and stuff. It's hot. Wow. I'm actually shocked. Like, the way people talk about Subway, they make it seem like Subway is this really horrible brand and how, you know, I mean, I guess the bread from what I read one time had like a hundred ingredients and the, 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 the vegetables and stuff aren't the freshest, but I'm thoroughly shocked. As someone who believed all that fake news, eating this in person... It's really good. It's really flavorful. I don't understand why Subway gets a lot of hate. I mean, they changed the menu. Coke Zero, man. I know I'ma hear it. Yes, it has aspartamine or aspartame. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it you probably shouldn't be drinking. But it's got zero calories though, can't beat that. How are you gonna get fat? That's right, you can't, there's no calories. Like I just rinsed my palate with that Coke. I put all that acidity in my mouth. I took another bite and it's just flavor. It just, it just hits you, it slaps you, it's, it's there, it's in your mouth, it's exploding. I am tasting every ingredient individually and then it just mashes together I ain't getting napkins I guess it's gonna be a dirty mouth video Now, is this better than Jersey Mike's? And that's, this is tough. This is tough. Because I know if I go above Jersey Mike's, I'm going to hear it. No one will, no one will trust these reviews again. My, my scale will be broken. I mean, this is, if we're talking about yesterday, I had the Wendy's Baconator versus this, getting this 10 out of 10 times. <clears throat> Man. Everything worked out today for Subway. They have good chips, 65% less fat, baked chips, Coke Zero. I should have went with water, but they had Dasani. And that, that Philly. I'm going. I'm going. Bro, I'm going 8-1. I'm going 8-1 on that Philly. I think Jersey Mike's edges it out just a little bit at least how it worked out today right these are fast food places so the the quality varies by location it varies who's making it the guy who was making it was so into it had a full-blown conversation with the man 
the food comes out, it's hot, cheese is melted, the meat tastes good, the flavors, everything. Wow. The only reason I'm giving a little bit of an edge to Jersey Mike's is the quality. They probably do have better quality. And you could taste that. 8-1. 8-1 Subway Philly. If you if you if you if you like Phillies, go ahead and go to your local Subway. Just hope that you get a good employee in there, because if you get a bad one, it's not gonna come out good. Wow, 8-1? That's the review.